actually forgot my gloves. Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm just going for a walk, <laughs> mate. That's it. Just going for a walk. I'm not well. So, I'm down south. And this, on the top of there, is the South Downs. It's delightful. Tim Renton, rest in peace, Tim Renton. I've just got my OS map on my phone, which tells me about all these little paths and that. So I'm going to be going up through this woodland and then onto the tops. I won't be doing much holding at camera because I forgot my gloves. Ah, and it hurts holding this thing. Will I even get a video out of this? You know, is it pointless? We'll see. I'm off for a walk anyway, regardless. Regard A. I can't. I can't do it. Every year. Every year it gets worse, man. Oh well. Get a seat, look. I brought my seat out at least. I think, have I? Um, yes. Over there. Can't see anything, mate. I'm snow blind. Not well, and snow blind as well. Oh, you can't stare at the sun, it's too much. Can't really see much because this sun is blazing and. And it's snowed, hasn't it? So, the old snow blindness is getting me. Is anyone else, or has anyone else had their arse handed to them of late with winter? Like, I've seen a lot of my, a lot of people getting poorly, like whatever I've got. And seasonal affective disorders doing me nogging in this year. Is anyone else feeling it a little bit more this year? Don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me being a bit of a salad. So uh, I raffled off me Hilliburg and the winner, Bobby, shout out Bobby, and he lives down south, not too far from Ferns, so uh, I just drove and met him and uh, dropped off the Hilliburg and some Northern Monk Regarde. Bobby, this is Bobby, the winner of the Hilliburg Alak 2, and we're also joined by... Dashi. Say Dashi Say and hi. Bobby. Nice. <clears throat> so we've got the Hilliburg Alak 2 and just some, some choice Northern Monks there for the festive season. What a legend, thank you so much. <laughs> Happy days. So that was cool. And if anyone wants to be with a chance to win the Sea uh, to Summit Ultra TR2, Regarde, then the, then the raffle tickets are just £2 a piece for that if you want to get involved. And 20% of the profits will be going to uh, I forget the name of the actual charity, it's Mental Health UK, I believe. Every All the information's on the website, and I'll leave a link to my website below where you can find all that, so check it out if you want. And the winner will be drawn on Christmas Day, so you could get yourself a nice little Brucey bonus for Christmas. So with this one, I just wanted to check in with you, because I've not done a video for a while. And things are good, man, I am in a good place, I've just got some life stuff going on at the moment still. I'm dealing with um, and being ill it's just it's not the one is it for pointing a camera at your bonds uh, right on. I don't think cold water therapy is a good thing to do when you're poorly is it when you I think it's a good preventative but no point me getting down to skivvies and rolling around in this snow ain't gonna do jack shit Except make me look mental to anyone who's walking their dog. I thought I'd just talk to you a little bit about about wild camping and about being out in nature and stuff, you know, and, and what it does for me. And it might help, I don't know, it might help someone. I hope. 
because this year, man, as we draw to a, an end of this year, has been a roller coaster. Sometimes nogging doesn't ain't quite on track, and the beginning of this year was that I'd 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 had a couple of years and not been like myself and you only really realize these things I think once you get out the other side and you feel proper like healed then you look back and you're like actually I was in a bit of a, a dark place or I, my head was a bit of a shed um, I can't remember what month it was but I got COVID and I had to self isolate and that really spanned me the battery keeps going I'm trying to have like to say stuff and <laughs> keep um, yeah, so anyway, I got COVID. I don't know if I've already said this because battery's gone and it stoved me head in. And then afterwards, like it'd been a long time. I'd not posted anything on YouTube. I'd not done any work. I'd just not been, not, not talking to anyone, not doing anything. Just head was gone. Um, I'd even like get in my van, drive out to wherever, like into Dales or into Lakes. And then I would just sit there knowing that all I needed to do is get out the van and then it, everything would happen. I'd feel better, I'd hike, I'd just whatever, it would all be good. But I would just sit in the van and not be able to get out. I just wouldn't get out. Don't know why, just Ed would either be racing with all sorts of stuff or it'd just be void. Like, just gone fishing, signing eyes. See you later. Logged off. <laughs> you know, not permanent log off, but definitely in sleeper mode or whatever it is. Couldn't do anything, man. And then, so then I would beat myself up. I would sit in the van, like, right, got to do summer. Couldn't do it. Got back home, like, I beat myself up. And then when you start beating yourself up, it's like, right, well, what'll take edge off? Anna, swill. Let's have a bit of swill. And then what does swill lead to? Let's go out. Let's do it. Like, Ugh! it's not good, is it? So it's just a, like a vicious cycle that got myself caught up in, and it's just. No, no. And it took, like, there is no cure all for it for like if you if your head's a shed there is no like there's a lot of aeroplanes down south isn't there I'll give, I'll give it that I think it's about yeah, it's London isn't it near London I guess I want to be in Yorkshire like Yorkshire's good isn't it you want to be Yorkshire guys <laughs> beforehand I thought oh yeah it'd be good to do this video because you know it might help sit people out but because <laughs> I'm ill and that, my head's a shed now, so I'm telling you about how to get your head out at shed, and my head's in a shed. So don't listen to me, is mainly what I'm, yeah. Also, yeah, don't listen to me. So, like, got caught in this cycle, got caught in this rut. It had been on the, on the arse end of, like, a good few years of just not truly been with it, you know? Bit of destructive behaviour and just negative... Yeah, just being negative, really, with myself and the people I surround myself with and all that. Um, and not doing the right things for me. I wish I could just sit here and be like, yeah, there's a real, there's a, there's a one thing that you can do. Like, go camp on a mountain or go while swimming or eat well or do that. There isn't, there isn't just a fix, like a, a quick overnight fix. It's lots of little things, I think. But the one thing that did save me and truly did save me was... And it's cheesy as as this plane goes over and ruins the moment. And it is cheesy and there's a plane overhead. But it was nature that sorted me out. It one hundred percent it was that. I had not been out for a long time. Not been camping, not felt like it. And then I just give myself a bit of a kick up ass. I was like, right, I need to do this for me. Like I'm losing me losing me noggin. And so I thought, right, I'm gonna go for a two day, no, two night camp in the Lake District and not really make any plans. I'm just gonna get lost, you know, like just hike wherever I want, let nature just have its way with me. And it was amazing. It was just, it, it's gotta be like one of the best experiences of my life. I just, and I know I was filming it, I took a, a, I took a camera, but that's not, that's just a part of it that you see, like me just chatting breeze at camera. There's a lot that's, that happens on and off camera, you know, like mainly off camera, because that's the majority of the time. And I just spent, a few days just getting lost, swimming, being in nature, and it just changed everything. And there was a pivotal moment where 
I'd found this little secret plunge pool near a waterfall that was full of fish and I swam in it for far too long and my, my core temperature really dropped. I got out and I was just stood in birthday suit and sun had just come out behind, from behind clouds and I could feel the heat of it on my skin and it was just warming me up and I was just surrounded by mountains, no one about and I just knew it like it was just, that was the moment. I was like, oh my God, it's all right. Like it's gonna be all right. After that, it gave me the kick up the ass I needed. And as soon as I got back, I was like, right. I hadn't planned to do the Cleveland way. And I was like, right, I'm doing it. And it just led on from one thing to another. And without me looking for good things to happen, good things just came to me because my mindset was positive and my mindset like was calm and open to receiving good things. And it just took that one trip to get out me back out my comfort zone, get a little bit lost. I had to get lost to find myself again, man. <laughs> Cheese fest. What does nature give me? It gives me a new lease of life, and it doesn't. And it's always there. It doesn't lie to me. It doesn't. It is what it is. It's 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 very core. It's just. Brutiful, brutal and beautiful in equal measures. And it's always there for you throughout all the seasons, no matter what. It doesn't have any hidden agenda. It's not trying to sell you anything or trick you into doing something you don't want to do. It's just honest and you can be in nature and be honest with yourself and just... It's definitely a start, man. If you're struggling with your noodle, a good place to start. I'm not saying it's for everyone, but a good place to start is definitely some solitude in nature. Just even if you're not surrounded by it, like if you've got parks or just little spaces, like I'm on the, the South Downs now. I've just hiked up here and just got this little area. There's only occasionally there are people running past and that, because the South Downs way just there. Shout out the South Downs way. I would say if anyone's struggling mentally, a bit of solitude in nature goes a long way and can be the foundations to the building blocks of getting yourself into a better place. Little things putting you out of your comfort zone because it's easy just to bury your head in sand, in it? When my noodle went in first lockdown, that was worst it's ever been, mate. I was on edge of like, I was thinking to myself, this is it. Like, you know, when you want to just be on permo sleep. I wanted to, I wanted permo sleep because I couldn't handle it. I couldn't handle being awake. I couldn't handle being in my own mind. But it is never final, and you're never out, you're never counted out. And something that's brought this on is that I've had a few people recently reaching out to me, saying they're struggling and saying they're thinking of ending it, right? And, I, like, I get it, it must be difficult and you don't know where to turn, but I can't help. I tried, I messaged back, I messaged back. There was one, two days ago, someone saying, I can't go on anymore, I've tried, I just can't do it. And I messaged back, I get up the next day, go see if he's replied, and he's deleted the message. And I'm like, oh, this isn't the first time it's happened. And, I, and then, I, then, then, then I stopped being able to re, like, respond when people are, uh, you know, struggling. I can't do it, <laughs> I can't be there. <coughs> I just can't be there for you. And I'm really sorry, I just can't. So, this, I just can only do this and say just, it's, n time and, and things that you do will change the way you think. You can change your whole mind and you can change your whole mindset just by eating something. You might be a bit, you might, right, you might have had a shitter at work, you might be a bit knackered, might be hungry. And your whole, your whole mind is negative then, isn't it? You're arguing with people, you're like, just everything's shit, Ugh. I don't know, have something to eat, whatever, whatever you want, chicken dippers, beans, and chips. And you feel like a new man, don't you? You're like, oh, I see, sorry about that, everyone. Sorry, I feel like I can think straighter. So don't really, don't beat yourself up for how you're thinking at the time. You're not, you are not your thoughts or your, or your mind. Because, you know, my mind tells me to jump off cliffs and that. And, and not like in a suicide way, and just like, a, like, go on, mate. And I get scared. Like, if you put some, like, a, I'm scared to have a poisonous thing in my hand because I'm like, my brain's like, go on, eat it. 
Or if there was a button that was like a nuclear button, I wouldn't be able to go near it because my brain would be like, go and press it. But that's not you, is it? It's just your brain. So don't worry about it. Sorry if this is all scatter scatterbrained everywhere. I'm trying to make sense of it as I'm saying it. Or it's probably just all gobbledygook. But I'm trying to get the point across of like... It's not, it's not as bad as you think it is, mate. It really isn't. Time is a good healer. And if you just put little things in place, little, I've said it before, like little incremental things like, you know, work on your sleep, your diet, bit of exercise, just little things. And then you'll find the next thing easier. So if you work on your sleep, your diet and a little bit of exercise, you might feel a lot better and more able to like maybe go for a cold plunge so that'll, that'll enable you to do that. You'll go for a cold plunge. That might give you the like, well, I've conquered that. What, what else can I conquer? And it's just like inertia. I'm going to do my best to get a, a video together soon. A proper camping video. But I'm not putting my son under any pressure. I can't. If it's not happening, it's not happening. I can't just force it. Make me send poorly, can I? I guess it's up to us to look after each other, innit? And be a little bit... Be as kind as you can to your fellow man, because... You know, just for, that guy who said he was struggling the other day, he was really struggling to the point where he's reaching out to me, essentially a stranger on the internet. Uh, and he might go to a pub and chat to someone and they might change his life for the better just by being a little bit like kind or whatever. So I hope he finds that. And if you are watching this actually, mate, you'll know who you are because you did comment but then you deleted it. So no one has seen it. It's fine. Your name isn't... I'm not saying your name or anything like that. But I'll send you now. But love and things will get better, mate. Things will get better. And I believe in you. And I hope you have the strength in yourself. Or find the strength in yourself to make a difference. And just get back on your feet. And, and kick the living tits off it, mate. You've got it. You've, you've absolutely got it. Right, I don't know what this has been. It's not really been much, has it? It's just uh, nature's mint. <coughs> I don't know, mate. Nature's mint, in it? Nature is mint. It's the great healer. And if I didn't have it, I don't know what I'd do, mate. I, don't know. I wouldn't be here, would I? I wouldn't be here. That's simple as that. I wouldn't be here. It's been there for me. Long before, like, filming and stuff, it's always been there. I've always... Just always been a part of me. And I love it. Shout out to nature. <laughs> And I'll be back out in Mother Nature soon. But until then, I just wanted to just jump on and say I love you all. Take care of yourselves. Thanks, as always, for just checking in and for the support. Sorry that I can't reply to all the messages, but I do see you and I do appreciate you. Mama, stay out of trouble. Au revoir for now. I'm glad I bought this, mate, because my ass is freezing. There we go. I'm off, mate. I'm off to go and get a honey and lemon and just chill out. And I'll be back soon. I'll be back soon with some decent clobber. Knuckles or... Yeah, go for it, mate. Much love. <coughs> My bones hurt when I cough. What's that all about? Let's just see if I can hit you with... Ah, nah. <laughs> yeah, see you later. Bye.